Well, we've finally chosen a place to paint. This particular area struck me the moment I saw it. It's filled with beautiful Naples yellows, alizarin crimsons. This area is called 20 Mule Team Canyon, and we'll get into that a little bit later. But let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to take burnt sienna and cobalt blue and squeeze it out on my palette. What I'm going to first do is cut my canvas into three sections. And what I want is the main composition to be in the center part of my painting. I see a little pathway. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm now getting a little bit more of a dynamic sketch in, a little bit more positive with harder lines. As I get into the corner of my painting, I want to apply a little bit more cobalt blue in the corners. I want to darken the corners of my painting and then more white as I get further down. Now notice I'm just scrubbing the color in. What we want to do right now is we want to capture all the little footnotes of where the highlight is at this very moment. Throughout the painting, the line is going to be changing, and it would be almost impossible for us to, to make all those changes as the afternoon wears on. What I want to do is I want to put some footnotes right where the light is at this very moment. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to notice where these highlights are in my composition. And I'm just going to place them in, in a scribble very quickly. Okay, these long lines of light. I'm bouncing around and I'm just giving myself an idea of where the light is. What I want to do right now is actually start on the main peak. Right at this very moment, the main peak has this beautiful cast of cerulean blue, cobalt blue, a little bit of alizarin crimson, kind of a purplish tone. And I want to try to get that in my painting. And I'm going to do that by taking cobalt blue and white and alizarin crimson. I'm going to very carefully at this point start laying in the shadow side of my mountain. At this point, we are not going to waste one brush stroke. Every brush stroke counts. We're past the sketching phase and we're now in the painting phase. So what we're doing is we're taking a mixture of blue and yellow and, and a lot of white and creating a greenish tone. All of these different tones make up Death Valley. Now I'm going to take burnt sienna and cobalt blue. These are the same colors that I used in the background mountains. And I'm going to place little shadows. Every one of these little tiny highlights has to have a shadow. And it's important to make every one of these shapes a little bit different. At this point, I'm going to switch to a larger brush and we're going to start painting in the bushes. We're going to take cobalt blue and a little bit of yellow ochre. And this is a very dry brush compared to what we were using before. Cobalt blue and yellow ochre. And if you notice, I'm hitting my brush into my palette. I'm actually trying to break the hairs up so that I can create bushes with this brush. Now we're going to take this color and we're going to keep in mind that the bushes in the distance are smaller. This is just like the rocks. As things get further away from you, they get smaller. Now, as the bushes come closer, they need to get larger. Now we're going to put a little bit of highlight on them. What I've done is I've mixed a little bit more white in this color. And we're just going to put a little bit of light on the top of these bushes. A little bit of light, a little bit of light. Just on the top of these bushes. We can also pick up a palette knife. If you look at the bush on the right, we can scrape in a few little twigs. Mm. 